Yo, what is up, my Shadow Armies? It is I, Shadow Cody, guys, back again with another anime Atlantic War Ruby video. So, yes, today, um, for those people who may not be aware, um, about last Thursday, four days ago, we got hit by a hurricane. We were underneath the green and yellow radar, and we had some dealt with a power outage, and um, and some of our roof at the front porch has been fall came off. Three trees were about to fall apart, like a domino falling effect or whatever. And we were out of power for four days, and we were like live in the house with no fucking power and um so yesterday we got the power back on and they our internet is kind of still trying to connect so by this recording the internet might be back up maybe I don't know and yesterday I got wasted I don't want to say wasted but I got wasted a bit all the shit I gone through all the stress I fucking earned that shit and ever since then I couldn't record anything because I didn't want to waste the power of my phones so there's that um yeah so today I want to make four videos right now because I want to get these out of the way because for those people for those people being commented about these four characters you know Neo well actually mostly two of them Neo and Salem they do not understand the characters they just say oh this character is going to be in this line of court but they don't give me explanation so some of you guys are just a bunch of fucking idiots. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with Neapolitan, then Salem, then Cinder and John last, and then so I could get those four out of the way. Then I could do Team Ruby later on after the other videos I have planned. And. So the first one we're gonna do with Neo, the next video is gonna be Salem, because both y'all are just that fucking idiots. So, and keep this in mind, the Atlanticore is about the strong connection of your emotion, not about you know the effects or the power you get from the ring. Same goes for the Red Atlanticore. Yes, I know the Red Atlanticore. If you have the red ring, you can't take it off. If you take it off, you actually will die as a red lantern. I get that. But this is not about a what-if scenario. It, this is a discussion of which core they will be fit in in the DC Universe for the, the, the lantern core. It's about discussion, not a what-if. There's a difference. So, I just want to get that out of the way because... People are gonna say, "Oh no, this and that." I'm only using the emotion that they have strong connection for the Lanticore if they exist. If these characters existed in the world of DC Universe for the Lanticore. So, yeah, with that out of the way, I only got two things that seems fitting for Neo. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate! So I'm gonna start off with Rage, the Atlantic Core. Yes, I know, I said this before at the beginning of the video. When you have the red Atlantic Core, you cannot remove it. The only way you can remove it is the blue Atlantic Core of hope. I get that. But this is not about a what if. This is a discussion of which Lanticore of a strong emotion, connection of your emotion that you have if these characters exist in the DC Universe. 
this is a just a discussion of which Lanticore it'd be 100% fitting. The reason why I had Neo as Rage, because most the volume 6 through 9, she has that revenge. She seeks revenge on Ruby. Mostly Ruby the Cinder. And when Neo finally face to face Cinder, the responsible of Death of Roman, Neo knows that she's out of Cinder's league as a fighter. When Cinder reveals all of her fall Bane powers. So so basically um uh thanks to Cinder Man, that's a freaking web here. Thanks to Cinder, Neo seeks revenge on Ruby, and that revenge leads to Volume 9, when she finally did get her revenge. She she didn't want to kill Ruby, she just wanted to torture Ruby, tore her apart. And that's what she did. Finally got what she wanted, and other day she was empty. She was completely empty, she doesn't, she never thought this through, like... Wait, what? I finally got my revenge. Now what? So, yeah. It was then she got her revenge. She felt nothing. She felt only hollow because now she finally got her revenge and it just left her empty. Because, well, it didn't do nothing to bring Roman back. It just only brings more pain. And make you feel a hollow. That's that's basically what happened to Neo at the end. That she, you know, she did got revenge, but it just meant nothing now. And um, until the ending of Volume Nine, which that leads to us the next Lanticore. For hearts long lost and full of fright, for those alone in blackest night, accept our ring and join our fight. Love conquers all with violet light. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Remember I mentioned about the comment that someone will say that Neo should be this and that? One person, no, two person, saying that Neo should be part of the fear Lanticore or be the evil version of the Green Lantern or something like that. Which, y'all guys are that fucking stupid for thinking that. Neo doesn't bring fear. She doesn't have the emotion of fear. And Neo doesn't have willpower. She doesn't have that. The one two thing you need to pay attention is her emotion. From, from the Roman Holiday through Volume 3 and... And in the volume 9 when she, when her assemblies got evolved, she could make tons of people, let them able to speak. When she made Roman, she felt happy. She felt like she finally had Roman again, even though it's not the real him. But the reason why I put Neo as they love Lanticore, because she does have strong connection of love for Roman. If you guys read the Roman Holiday, you guys know the Love Lanticore is fitting for Neo because Roman was the only person that Neo ever made an actual friend. The person who accepted who she is, the person who took her in, the person who gave her a new life, everything like that. And... And when someone talks shit about Roman or th something like that, she gets pissed off. Yes, yeah, she loves Roman to death. Even we all know this. And some people did not like the idea of Neo and Roman being a, a ship. But turns out that Neo is an adult. I'm not sure. If you look up the, wiki the actual age of Neo, from volume... Um... One to three, Neo was eighteen and nineteen, and through volume four through nine, 
she was in her 20s. Somewhere on the age of 22 or 23. So, no, no, she was about to be in her age of 20 or 21. So, she's literally an adult woman. Young adult woman. So, she does have a thing in love for Roman to death. And after the ending, for when Neo finally got her revenge on the Curious Cad, and say her farewell, farewell to Roman, which that did kind of hurt, and you you could tell her strong connection is love because of Roman. So yeah, love conquers all. Even conquer rage, in my opinion. So yeah, love is the fitting Atlantic core for Neo because of her strong emotion. Hell, the reason why, again, back to the Roman holiday, Roman was the first ever person gave Neo a new purpose, a new identity. Hell, even got her the umbrella that she had, the only thing that she could remember of Roman. That's literally the last thing she has left a Roman and the hat of Roman. That's the last bit that Neo has for Roman. So yeah, Neo does love Roman to the core. So yeah, that's why Neo is is perfect fitting for the love Atlantic core. So yeah, those are the two Atlantic core for Neo. I just don't see her be fitting to other Atlantic core. Not fear, not will, not even greed. I do not see that. Neo doesn't show any greed or anything like that. I mean, you could say that she does steal with something she likes to see and she gets it. But that's only once in the Roman holiday when she was a kid. But she doesn't do that anymore. And I would not put the greed in this list because... All she wanted is just to be a free, free life girl and just want to make friends and set up. That's basically what she wants. She just wants that friend, not money, not fame, none of that. She just wants someone to accept her and get her attention and be there for her. And Roman gave her that. But that's not part of a greed. Greed is about, you know, power, money, control. That That's basic greed in general. So, for those idiots out there saying that Neo should be part of Fear or Will, you guys are fucking idiots. Go back and watch the show and read the novelization of Roman Holiday and tell me I'm not wrong that Neo is perfecting for both rage but strongly love. Because there is no strong connection of Neo be part of Will or Fear or even Greed. Because people just don't understand or just don't care for the characters. Which that does piss me the fuck off when I see those comments. Which it does piss me off. But anyway you guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, links to my other channel, my social media will be down below. So good while you know, Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Neo before, Shadow Critias, and I'll see you guys later.